Coming to you live from an undisclosed location, it's Motorsport Manager with me, Colonel Failure. Uh, joining you on the intranets there uh, on a Sunday evening, uh, the perfect time for racing. Uh, this evening there will be no stream helmet for technical reasons, but I'm here, you're here, everyone's here. Uh, if you would like to get involved in today's race uh, in some fashion, the hashtag on that there Twitter will be hashtag bulldozer power, all one word. Uh, as you well know, Motorsport Manager is a game that is utterly reliant on the use of hashtags, so please do use them creatively. Uh, it's lovely to see uh, uh, a tremendous number of people uh, on both tw uh, Twitch and YouTube this evening. YouTube, I know, I've got to put my teeth back in. Um, and uh, yeah, this, this is quite exciting. Multiple chat rooms for me to miss out and Twitter at the same time. It's going to be amazing, uh, I have no doubt in the slightest. Uh, King Awesome over on YouTube is asking, how am I? I uh, I'm good. Uh, I'm slightly more distracted than I would normally be, given that I'm now monitoring, uh, it feels like, the entire matrix. Um, but that's all good. Uh, bring the challenge, I say. Uh, Otterson87 says, yo. Uh, Lucas Jan says, sums it up pretty nice. Okay, I'll probably jump into the middle of a conversation there. Right, that's it for shout outs for now. Uh, if you want, uh, if you want to get your, your pithy comment aired in the middle of, uh, of today's motorsport madness, uh, then please do hashtag bulldozer power on Twitter. I don't know, uh, it, it, it would be uh, it would rather marvelous. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's see what we're up to. So at the end of the last race, uh, we, had been, we had been rather disappointed uh, with, uh, with the results that we'd had. Um, uh, and, uh, and in fact, uh, Silvera had performed so badly uh, that, uh, that frankly, if her contract is up, there's a, there's a very real chance uh, that, uh, that it won't be renewed. And I, I will take on someone cheap instead and we'll throw all our hopes behind young Nicholas Hazel. Uh, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of wisdom in that, but, uh, but it's the kind of thing we'll do anyway. Uh, as ever, however, uh, as ever, however, we have mail, and uh, and that's the first thing that we're going to uh, we're gonna we're gonna get on with. Uh, so right, uh, that's the practice session. Why does it send me mail on the practice session after we've done the race? I, I honestly, uh, anyway, Gary's here uh, as he usually is, uh, complaining about the condition of the cars. Silvera threshed her car a little more than Hazel did, but didn't actually get a result out of it. It's only going to take a 12 hours to fix it, that will be fine. Uh, meanwhile, your friend and mine, Victor Keller from UKSN, uh, is here doing, uh, doing his interview bit. Uh, and uh, we, ought to, we ought to see what he's got to say. Uh, someone in the, in the last episode suggested that, uh, that I ought to skip interviews uh, because they don't lead to anything good. And I say, that's the fun of the game. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Victor Keller, he says, you attempted a quick pit stop for Hazel during the last race, but it resulted in a mistake. Your very own chairman criticised the move, saying that motorsport isn't a place for gambling. You've asked this question before, Victor. I'm going to give you probably the, uh, the, same, uh, the same response I gave you last time. Uh, if Nicholas hadn't been performing so poorly, I wouldn't have needed to risk the pit stop. There we go. Or... We had to go for it. Every second makes a difference in this sport. What we're not going to do is agree with the chairman. That simple. Right, yeah, okay, we had to go for it, all right? Uh, and that upset both the drivers. Total result uh, right there. Uh, Ho-hum, never mind. Uh, the, this, is, this is all good. Um, meanwhile, Rachel Noy from Channel 6 uh, is, is talking about the, uh, the race in Milan. Uh, plastic, I'm assuming Reverend Plastic, uh, was definitely pushed to his limits during the race in Milan, uh, pulling off a number of daring overtaking manoeuvres. The Firebird MRT driver eventually came out on top with Roe finishing second and Moto rounding out the podium. Uh, fire, winning Firebird MRT boss Hugo Cumberland collected the team's trophy and looked delighted as he downed the champagne. Uh, as ever, we definitely want some champagne at some point, but, uh, but we're a million miles away from getting that now. Uh, meanwhile, Sophia is here with, a, with another scouting report. It's all go, isn't it? Uh, Katie Linares, a low-quality driver in the European driving se racing series. Sounds like she might work for me. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, my giddy aunt. Uh, so, currently the backup driver at Predator We Suck Racing Group, 
Um, the only thing she's any good at at all is being quite fit. Well, that's nice then. Um, let's have a... What have we got here? So she's content. Uh, morale plus 30, but desires lower earnings. Well, with those skills, I'm, I'm pretty certain that lower earnings is what she's going to get. And she's a successful designer, which makes her more marketable. Well, she's not going to get a job with me. That's for absolutely certain. So uh, let us continue our odyssey of, uh, of, uh, of drivers uh, and, the, uh, and, and the scouting thereof. Uh, right, let's, uh, where's, the, where's the ones that I've done? Oh, no, no, it's, this is what we want. We want the ones that I've done already. No, no. Fine, do it in this order. See if, see if I care. Right, here we go. Right, okay, so there's the, there's the list of, uh, of reprobates we've already had a look at. Uh, H&R is quite good. Uh, it's never going to work for me, but uh, I think we'll, we'll, stick some, we'll stick a scouting job in anyway. The goal being, of course, uh, simply to, uh, to get a scouting report on everybody at some point. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do. What does, what does fitness even do? Asks uh, Pyro Phoenix 118. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it, it means that the driver will probably be able to concentrate uh, later in the, uh, later in the race as, uh, as they get more tired. Um, but uh, there we go. Uh, we got uh, uh, Elzar has, uh, has uh, sent a, a message into Bulldozer Power on Twitter. Uh, hashtag Bulldozer Power, for those of you who don't know. Kurt's calling. Kurt is certainly not calling. The last thing I need is a call from Kurt right now. Uh, right, let's press on. So this is the bit you don't usually get to see during the uh, live episodes because I cut all of this waiting for stuff to happen business out. So you can, you can skip to the good stuff. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, Gary's saying that the cars are now repaired, which means that we can go and poke around in the workshop uh, and see what's going on. Uh, okay, so two days before the race, we will finish work on the new gearbox. Splendid. Uh, and then just... Uh, two weeks after the race, what's going on here? There's no point in working in reliability because they're, they're all going to be unreliable again uh, after the, the season rollover. So there, there really isn't, uh, there isn't any point in, in wasting time on that. Uh, let's have a look here. Um, now, I've got uh, 1.4 million quid left. Uh, it's going to cost me 780 to do the next race, so I'm going to have 750 left in the bank. Um, what's the sponsor? I, I always check the sponsors before I'm about to go and blow everything. Uh, we're going to get sponsorship deals for slots four and six here, uh, and they'll come in afterwards. Only one of them gave an upfront payment, so I reckon I can. I reckon I can. I can blow a, uh, a million on uh, on a part for next season. What do you think? Actually, don't answer that. You might come, you might tell me not to do it. Um, but uh, there we go. Uh, we're going to give it a go anyway. Right now, then we have great knowledge on everything. I've got one engine in the works. In fact, I better check that first. Right, uh, improved parts. So I've got. I haven't got I haven't got super good brakes, so here's the here's the Chancy button, uh, and we've got uh, we've got a Chancy gearbox capable of two twenty eight, mm. and uh, and a bit of Chancy suspension really, intriguing capable of one seven five. I thought my engine was a was a risk it for a biscuit kind of a kind of a deal. I guess not. Okay, right. Well, uh, we could uh, we could always go uh, for an incredibly uh, an incredibly expensive investment in a new engine, which is clearly going to make uh, a big difference. Uh, potentially going to make a it might make a big difference. It's going to make a hole in my bank account. That, that's what it's going to do. Um, either that or brakes. Right now, we know Hazel's terrible at braking, so having good brakes might actually help him out, and they'll be cheaper. But I want an engine. Uh, William Flood there commenting over on YouTube is saying he's he's been saying all along it's time to go hard or go home. Beautiful. Uh, well, that's you know that's that's salient advice there. Uh, leave it all out on the track. Uh, take nothing home. Go for a new car. We'll go for a new car at the end of the season. Don't worry about that. Brakes. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, Joachim 
V D Mullen. Okay. The 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 the, the secret weapon, friends, to getting a shout out on that there Twitch is have a name that people can pronounce. Uh, right, let's have a look at let's go for breaks. All right, I'm gonna go for some breaks because uh, Hazel's terrible at it. Uh, right, so what we want here is uh, all deceleration all the time. So let's, let's price this sucker up. Deceleration plus 50. Mm, that's the stuff. Yeah, I'll take it. Right, and we've got one slot left. Uh, this is already, it's starting to get towards the uh, the, the maximum. Uh, oh, no, that's no, no, it's not plus max, is it? That's just plus what it is immediately. Plus max is what we're interested in. So that'll be up to there. So it takes us to a max of 197. Oh, well, that's boring. Um, it is a risky part, but the whole point of the risky part is that it will carry over to next season, at which point it will no longer be risky. Uh, and therefore, uh, it will just be, you know, it'll be legit. And we can go, I don't know what you're talking about, mate. No, no, this is totally fine. Uh, all engines were using steroids last season, and, and we jumped on board uh, as well. There we go. Uh, that was another uh, hashtag bulldozer power coming in over on the Twitter there has, has suggested that I, I jack in this Formula One business and make a move over to the GT series. Uh, I don't know whether that's a, a backhanded compliment, but I, I suspect it isn't. Uh, I suspect it's you might actually be able to not come last at some point if you move over there. Uh, let's, for comparison purposes, have a look and see what we could do with an engine uh, if I decided to throw caution and indeed my wallet uh, to the win. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, right. Extra top speed. Yes. 25 to max. Yes. Uh, and then, what have we got here? Top speed plus 35. Yeah, minus 10% red zone. That's Well, that's helpful. And what I want is to max, right? I want, I want more max top speed. Top speed plus 35. We've got plus 20 there. We've got plus... Plus 40 here, but lose 20% reliability. Goodness me, that's not ideal, is it? What does that give us? 203. And it's going to cost me 1.7 million, which is, going to, which is almost certainly going to get me a phone call from Kurt. Uh, and he will, he will not be pleased. Right, we're going to go with the brakes. Uh, and then that will, that will do us for this season as far as part creation is concerned. Uh, so we will take plus 20 deceleration. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll take that one there, and then we'll take this one here, which takes us to 197. Can I go higher? Any higher than 197? No, there is no higher than 197 to be had. 750 grand. Uh, thank you very much. I'd love to haggle, uh, but uh, but I guess that's not going to happen. Right, we'll have it. I love the way it pops up this little window to let you know that, uh, that you've, you've just blown your entire budget. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, Ian Hayes over there on uh, Twitch is asking whether I have already hit up Kurt for some additional cash uh, uh, this morning, and the answer is uh, no. No, I don't. No, I know. The answer is yes. Yes, I have already hit up cash for it. Uh, Kurt for Kurt for cash. Maybe I should just call him Cash. Hey, Cash, uh, give us some cash. He's very happy. See, he's already given us cash. There we are. Mind in the game, clearly, uh, not misfiring in the slightest. Let's trot on, shall we? Right then, uh, new part is the uh, is the mail go, uh, we've got going on here. Oh, hello there. Uh, Nicholas Hazel says, I want you to build me some new brakes for the next race. Uh, can you make sure I get to use it before Vanessa Silvera? He's a cheeky fella, this Hazel. I mean, he started in the team as a backup driver. Right, a backup driver, and now he's getting he's getting just a little bit ahead of himself. Uh, it would show the team. Oh, what's what does the new part personality trait do? What's that? What's it going to do? Is it going to make him all narky if he doesn't get it? No, uh, uh, I'm not putting those brakes on the car anyway. So. Uh, Forget about it. Uh, it's not happening. Uh, those brakes are for next season. They are not for next pointless race. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know, Robert Pedot there in, uh, in uh, Twitch is, is suggesting that 
uh, Mr. Hazel thinks he's the big man. And, uh, and evidently that is the case. Uh, anyway, we've got another scouting report in, and those are always a joy. Oh, we're, we're just skipping on past that. Yeah, I have another scouting report. Uh, right, what have we got? Uh, Eva Blasi uh, would be one of European Racing Series' top drivers. On top of that, she still has some potential to become even better. Eva's greatest strength is her braking, uh, weaknesses overtaking. I can't, I don't want a driver who can't overtake, right? Uh, we'll have a look at the full report in a sec, but we because we've also had Norman Napoleon uh, has been reviewed, uh, one of the best drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. has some room to improve. Uh, his best quality is his focus, but he's not terribly short. Uh, not terribly consistent. Well, uh, yeah, we'll see. Right. Anyway, here's Eva. Stone me. Uh, yeah. Well, she is good, isn't she? Uh, there is absolutely no chance that she will sign with us. Uh, but there we go. We've we've at least found out uh, what she's uh, what she's like. Uh, she's only got two months left on her contract, if that makes any difference at all. We can't afford to pay her. We've, we're going to need much more cash rolling in than we currently have uh, before we can uh, afford drivers of that kind of uh, you know, pedigree. That kind of pedigree. Right. Uh, meanwhile, uh, this is Mr. Napoleon. Uh, braking's okay. Cornering's okay. Smooth as no overtaking feedback he's a good driver uh, again probably won't probably won't sign for me uh, he's a pay driver what they'll pay me 284k a race that he's involved in hello my sponsors are interested in a deal oh, no, I think that's just the standard quote uh, let's uh, he's out of shape I don't care about that uh, bad at DRS don't care about that either I wonder if he would be interested in a move to uh Bulldozer of power. Dun, 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 dun. He's not interested. Dun, 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 dun. All right, onwards. Oh, I didn't set any more scouting targets. Never mind. We'll we'll do that in a minute. Not that it's making a massive amount of difference though. But uh, there we go. Anyway, here we go. Ah, brace yourselves. And the Asia Pacific Super Cup is reporting back its results from the round in Phoenix, the 11th of 12 this season. In first place, Tallulah Hawk, uh, who is currently third in the standings overall, uh, not only winning the race, but also setting the fastest lap. Impressive work there from Hawk, who is out of the running. I think it's fair to say this season, as Carlo T. Curious has it wrapped up. In second place, Andrea Floridi, uh, the second place driver, who is fending off Hawk for the silver medal in the series, uh, driving as she does for McNeil Racing Team. In third place, Frida Fisher. Uh, not really much, uh, I've not spoken about her a lot, but apparently she's in fifth. Uh, why I haven't, and, and why I'm somehow fixated that Wolfbite was doing better than, than he actually has been doing for the last half dozen races is, uh, is pretty mysterious. Anyway, for all of you uh, Asia Pacific Super Cup fans, that's all the latest news there is. <clears throat> right, okay, back to the team. Uh, so I need to set a couple more scouting things uh, in place. Uh, we'll just keep working down the list. Why the hell not? Uh, right, Avalos scouting and Alice Wood. Alice Wood looks like she could be quite good. She's also getting on a bit. I, I, as much as 34 is apparently getting on a bit. Uh, so, you know, you never know. She might be, uh, she might be, might be getting on. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, right. Okay. So, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Again, you can see why I edit this out. Watching the, watching the calendar tick past is, is completely riveting stuff. Uh, right. So, we finished designing the brakes. Uh, and that means we should get them being improved. Now, as mentioned, there is not a lot of point in adjusting, working on this suspension, unless there is. Yes, a chancy part. I'm not going to use it, and the uh, reliability is um, uh, is reset in between uh, seasons. Anyway, uh, so instead, we shall uh, we shall chuck our new brakes in. Where are they? 197. I mean, honestly, it's not that good. 100, 197 on those brakes. It's, it, it's not setting me alight as far as my enthusiasm for these new brakes. But I'm hoping that the new uh, parts, particularly if I make something, you know, something that's, that's actually quite reliable at the start of the next season, 
uh, then there is a fighting chance that we can get some points in the first couple of races. Uh, so Freddie there, he's talking about the brakes build being complete. Makes a change for him talking about us needing a telemetry centre. Uh, but I'm sure he'll be along with that nugget of good news uh, pretty soon. Uh, yes, cash for, uh, call Kurt for cash uh, is uh, Pixelator 1998's suggestion uh, over on Twitter. Uh, you, can, you can follow along the chat. You don't have to wait for me to shout it out. But hashtag Bulldozer Power for those of you who want to get stuck in. Um, have you told me anything else there, Freddie? No, we're trotting on. Come on, let's uh, let's get on. We've got one race less to go. We're back in the uh, in the uh, the Black Sea once again, where we started. Thus shall we finish. And uh, uh, meanwhile. The 15th round of the World Motorsport Championship comes back from Rio de Janeiro. Ava Loss, once again, taking the top position in this race for Panther Race Team uh, with his teammate, Reaper86, in second. Uh, Panther Race Team there, stamping their authority really quite clearly on the top end of this table. Radon there, finishing in third to gain six points, uh, but that leaves him in fourth overall, and he certainly isn't going to catch the mighty, mighty the loss who is a good shake clear in fact so many shakes clear that nobody's going to catch him uh this season's already over all that remains to be seen is will it be johnson or fishburn that can end up in second place as far as the team standings are concerned it's panther race team all the way with scuderia rossini in second and the steinman motorsport in third place down at the other end of the table esprit gp will be racing in the asia pacific super cup next season There you go. That's my uh, esports commentary voice uh, there. So uh, there you go. Uh, right. Okie dokie. Let's uh, let's let's keep let's keep pushing on. I mean, with this being the last race uh, that we're doing this season, there is actually not an awful lot to do. Uh, we just have to get the drivers to the track, stick them in the cars, and then you know watch uh, with increasing uh, despondency. See as another season completes. Uh, anyway, here we go. Um, uh, Sophia's back with some details on uh, H&R. Holy mackerel. Slows down like a bandit. Uh, Anna's got everything else in the, uh, in the positive scores here. H&R might be the best driver to have ever lived. Uh, and very marketable and very easy on the fuel. Um, somehow, I don't think I'm going to get her on the team. I really don't think I'm going to get her on the team. She's uh, got a qualifying bonus of 100 grand, race bonus of 116,000 with a cost per race of 600,000. And it's going to cost me... I'm going to chance it because you never know. Uh, a great, uh, you know, a, a great driver may make all the difference. May make all the difference. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll just have to see how, uh, how, we, how we go there. Let's press the button. She's not interested in joining a team in the European get-out. Um, okay, well, that was, that was a short-lived piece of hope there. Let's get the next driver into research. Amy McLeod. Uh, uh, now, I, at some point, I'm going to stop just researching all of them and going, for, uh, going exclusively for people that might actually uh, possibly you know, go for a team that isn't good, like my team. For example, uh, right. Meanwhile, Kurt's back. Um, Kurt, with his very short memory, uh, just a reminder that we are currently in ninth place in the team's championship. We've been there for the whole season, Kurt. Oh boy, uh, this is currently bang on for your original target of ninth. Not bad, not bad at all. Thanks, Kurt. Happy to. Uh, oblige uh meanwhile anna's here with a report on the black sea a brief report on the next race in the calendar uh we're a 26 lap race and the lap length is 2.96 miles and the lap record is 127 there's likely to be some rain on the race back dry tires uh with uh sunday showing a 40 percent chance of rain uh without too many chances for the cars to get up to full speed this track really favors acceleration acceleration okay smashing acceleration it is uh, there's Freddie. Look, look, he, he's turned up again. Blah, 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 blah. Telemetry center. 
Uh, then, Mr. Hayes, he's back again. He's got another demand. Uh, I've heard from a contract inside Garuda Racing that they're working on improving their driver's first lap performance. I've been analysing my telemetry, which he's written on the back of a cornflakes packet, with some of the mechanics. And they say there are a couple of ways in which I could improve, like learning how to brake. So, should I start working on improving my starts, or should we concentrate on my braking? Uh, no, it's braking for sure. You are going to get better at braking. It is your weakest skill. Uh, I don't need a first lap hero who then throws it away uh, throughout, the rest of the, uh, throughout the rest of the race. Just dearie me. Uh, I mean, it, it demands a disaster area, and he's very, he's very demanding as well. Right, on we go. Right, there's another scouting report. Look, there, yeah, more stuff. Ah, woo, ah, we're almost here. Right, here we go. So, scouting report finished. Alice Wood. Alice would be one of the very best drivers in the European Racing Series, would she? Yes, she would. Not tops at braking, uh, but for feedback, consistency, and focus, that's that's pretty impressive stuff. Great on the overtaking, good smoothness. Cost to break contract, four million quid. Not even going to talk to her. Uh, and uh, Ava loss. I would Goodness gracious me. Uh, Avalos is perhaps the greatest driver anyone has ever seen in the history uh, of all uh, driving. Um, incredibly unfit at the moment, but has got a broken neck. So, uh, you know, that's acceptable. But, uh, you know, 19 breaking, 19, 19 over to 20, 20 adapter, 19, 20 flipping neck. Uh, well, there you go. It's got a dodgy neck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, made it dodgy neck fitness minus 10 so normally her fitness is 19 as well cost to break the contract what are you looking at a million quid a race quarter of a million let's have a look not interested well it was worth a go I, you know I thought there for a moment the greatest driver who might have ever lived uh, would potentially be interested in joining uh, the bum of the month club that is bulldozer power but I guess I guess not so much uh, there we go. Uh, Ninja Pumpkin there over on the Twitter uh, with hashtag telemetry center. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of reminder. Uh, clearly, Freddy has been, uh, has, has been having a word in your ear. Uh, right, so pre-race uh, preview uh, for the upcoming Black Sea race. Espen Roe is going into the Black Sea Grand Prix at the top of the driver's standings, uh, which former driver Michael Tellman Former drivers these days, clearly, uh, the only thing they have to do is just, you know, talk a load of old nonsense. Uh, isn't expecting to see changes this weekend. Can't see Hans Double Zero making up too much ground in Russia. Hans Double Zero has been driving like an absolute bandit in the last couple of races, and he's coming up fast on Rowie. Uh, if you wanted a nail-biting finish to the season, that's it right there. Uh, but obviously, what we're really going to be watching is the competition between uh, Nicholas Hazel and Vanessa Silvera to see which one of them uh, uh, incurs more of my ire. Uh, for away from the front pack, struggling Predator Racing Group will be hoping to see some improvements this weekend. They won't, uh, as the circuit offers them some chance of picking up valuable blah, blah, blah. Spons Plastic, as ever, with a word of optimism that is absolutely in no way based in reality. So, as ever, it's uh, pick the sponsor time. Uh, I'm going to open this one to the crowd. Uh, name that sponsor there uh, to, to give you the runners and riders. Uh, Golden Tiger uh, is a bank. Uh, they want me to finish 13th. Now, this is our typical sponsor selection. We'll usually go, oh, yes, we'll, we'll take those chaps. Um, uh, alternatively, and we have to finish 13th. Alternatively, uh, One Chai Industries want us to finish 9th or above and they will give us over twice as much. Uh, meanwhile, if we're feeling particularly chancy, Northern Harbour will give us 880 grand. Uh, so we've got Glenda Bromberg on YouTube suggesting that we should stick with Golden Tiger. Uh, over on Twitch, uh, Joachim, uh, Itzoki, uh, Golden Tiger, both of them. Uh, Trainboy is suggesting go big or go home Northern, uh, as is JB434. 
Uh, give Hazel good parts and he'll give you nine. Uh, I, I'm pretty certain that the misspelling of Hazel Haxel uh, might be intentional. Um, uh, my, well, now, we're now Wan Chai now are coming in uh, as the, the late breaking suggestion. Uh, so there, there's support across the board here. However, it is TJ Marshall uh, over on the Twitter. Uh, who has uh, said Golden Tiger hashtag Bulldozer Power? First person to do so, that's the one I'm going for. Oh, yes, we are Bulldozer Power. We embrace the social medias uh, and all the things that they do in this most modern uh, something or other. Right, uh, we're going to go with Golden Tiger. 200 grand will, will mean, if we manage to get it, it will mean that we end the season with a positive balance. Uh, Vanessa's angry at the moment because she's got the worst car now let's have a look at her numbers here all right breaking of 10 hazel used her breaking a one his bonus has given her a breaking a two but we like the 16 overtaking and we like that he's quite fit this is this is helpful to us but he's terrible at cornering uh vanessa meanwhile is actually only one point better at cornering less smooth can't overtake, but is consistent, adaptable, gives good feedback, and is focused. In terms of which one is going to be the more exciting driver, you have to go with Hazel's 16 points of overtaking there uh, and hope that the uh, the car can actually live up to, uh, to that capability. So here we go. 157 brakes to Hazel. Yes. The secondary brakes to Silvera. Uh, that's, that's what we're going to have to do. We'll give him the better engine. And oh, I'd, I'd see which way I'm leaning here. We're going to give Hazel the good car. We're going to give Hazel the good car. It's the, that's a thing that's happening. Um, uh, Vanessa can have the secondary car. Now, we're not going to put any chancy parts on here. I've invested an awful lot in these parts that may get us through next season. I'm not about to chuck them away now. That would uh, that would be a foolish thing to do. Uh, the bad news is that Vanessa's suspension is garbage. Um, so be it, so be it. Uh, Vanessa can stay angry. Uh, maybe it will help her. Uh, if it doesn't help her, then uh, she, mo she will be looking for a new job come the end of her career. Uh, anyway, here we go. The track guide for the Black Sea. Uh, tire wear, very high. Fuel burn, very low. Intriguing. Now, it was also suggested in the last episode in the comments that uh, for the last race, let's let's stay within fiction here. Uh, if, uh, during the last race, it was suggested that I should put one driver out on an incredibly aggressive uh, opening strategy with a low fuel weight to try and make the most possible out of the early stage of the race uh, and try a multi-stop strategy in order to try and uh, make that make that work. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but really, this is this is Hazel's race to prove himself. What he needs to do here is uh, he needs to finish above Silvera again to confirm, frankly, uh, that uh, that he is the driver I should be sticking with. Uh, while Silvera can pull it back, I mean, a top ten finish from Silvera, I'll be delighted. Um, uh, particularly if she causes an accident along the way, uh, just purely that's a skill I I respect. Um, but, uh, but neither driver, really, other than Hazel's ability to overtake, uh, really fills me with a great deal of confidence. Uh, the, first, the first corner is, 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 oh, and it's heaving it down with rain. 40% chance uh, was as reliable a prediction as it always is. It is throwing rain down from the sky, and, uh, and we're just going to have to, uh, we're just going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Um, uh, does Megna get a drive? Not today, she doesn't. Uh, right, okay, so we're on inters. So that's a bold choice, given that uh, on the second lap out there, it's going to be wet. But it doesn't really matter because I'm bringing them back in anyway. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the setup here. Now, Hazel's, Hazel's mechanic team is saying that we should be going for home down for us. They, they agree on handling. And edging towards top speed. Well, we know already that this is an acceleration-based uh, track, this one. So we're going to crank that. Oh, no, we're not going to crank it anywhere until we've played with the uh, wings. There you go. We'll take this to uh, about 
15, 7. Right, that's pretty extreme, isn't it? Let's go a bit further. Let's go 16. That should do the trick. Right. Okay. That's a that's a start. We should at least get some feedback based on uh, based on the p position there to see if there's anything better we can do. Uh, we'll stick it a little bit further towards oversteer, and uh, and we'll ramp it very much in the direction of acceleration. Tires we've already selected. That is confirmed. Uh, we will go similar with uh, Silvera. We'll, we'll crank her towards a little bit more oversteer. Over, over, there you go. See, it's easy when you go the right way. Um, and again, we'll uh, we'll head towards acceleration rather than top speed. Uh, Colonel, might want to adjust that uh, that rain sound down. Ah, interesting. Okay, hold on. I can I can do that. That's something that can be can be done by the press of a button. Which actually, I haven't been. I know I don't go audio settings. Audio settings, SFX. This, Let's just drop that to a, to a casual 71% there. There you go. See how, see how you feel about that, chaps. Uh, right, okay. Uh, don't know why you pushed that. Let's continue. Okay, right, so that's both drivers set up, I think. Um, it doesn't look like it actually it took uh, Silvera's settings there, so let's put that back as it was. Because I'd, I'd, I'd messed with her car to the extent that she's going to hate it. There we go. Right. Very acceleratory. Try wets with silver; it might get wetter later. Do you know what? That's actually that's actually some sound thinking. We're gonna we're gonna go for that. Uh, thank you very much. I should always give that. It's uh, Pyro Phoenix one one eight there. So here we go. Practice session. Practice session. Mr. Hazel, get out there. I I just did this. I told you already. Just go on. Go on. Up it. Uh, so where I get out. Right, we're gonna give the cars a good thumping as we usually do uh, to see if we can uh, get out of this early practice session. But as usual, I'm not I'm not expecting a massive amount. Um, we we should you know we don't, we just want a bit of feedback. Then we'll get them in and we'll tweak it. Uh, and we'll leave Vanessa out front. See, look. The, the, the wet tyre choice was absolutely spot on for this practice session. The question is, what's going to change? So the, uh, the practice session is going to dry up pretty quickly. Uh, the weather forecast suggesting that it's going to be dry after this next lap. So the, the wets aren't going to help for this practice session, but as rightly pointed out, there could be uh, the possibility as the race progresses that it turns wet, whereby wet weather tyres are going to be advantageous. So Silvera eases past Hazel there, but that's no surprise given the condition of the track, and it will start to uh, uh, will start to dry up. Uh, we'll tell both drivers to come in, uh, or will we? No, we won't. We'll leave Silvera out for one more. Um, might as well, uh, since the track will be pretty much dry after she does one more. Um, in fact, it's drying up so quickly, makes you makes you wonder if they've got some kind of pump system going on uh, on the uh, on the track already and she likes the gearing as well and as ever it's the bulldozer power slow motion formation lap here uh, as whoever that is behind them who is that is that a plastic could well be the, the, the plastic in question tries to get past repeatedly. There we go, Hazel comes in. We'll tell Silvera to come in on the next lap. Switching back to Hazel. This is, this is the way it should be done. Uh, let's have a look here. It feels like we're running the wrong arrow. Uh, oh, so be it. Let's uh, uh, see that now, but first we'll, we'll, we'll get the tweakage on the go. Uh, right, so great on the downforce, uh, and which means it can be a little bit better. Handling is awful, however, so a bit more understeer, under steer, beg your pardon, um, would be welcome. Uh, great is not the top rating either, so we can we can go just a little bit more on the downforce and potentially get a little bit more uh, chippiness from Mr. Hazel. Uh, handling poor. All right, let's uh, let's stiffen up that at. Uh, 
that suspension a, bu uh, a bunch and uh, and see where we get to. But I wouldn't have thought understeer would be welcome on a on a track as cornering oriented as uh, as this one is. Uh, we'll ease the gear ratios just a little as well. Uh, right, race trim learning is coming along. Now, do we go back out on inters? No, we're not. We're going to go out on medium tyres. This is a tyre shredding track, so yes, we'll go out on mediums and see where it gets us. He's going to complain initially that we should be out on inters. Uh, mic up, mic up. All right, I'm micing up. I have mic'd up a smidge. Uh, I hope that that is, that is suitable. It's, it can be quite sensitive about such things. Uh, right, uh, Elzar is saying, Anidia Hazel asks, where's my premium custom umbrella? Well, that would be typical. Uh, most definitely. Meanwhile, uh, Silvera is still out there in our wet weather tyres, and, and it is showing that she really is on inappropriate tyres now. Um, as uh, She's basically just cruising around the track, just you know checking out the sights. Uh, she's currently showing her lap time uh, on Periscope to, uh, to anyone who's interested. Going in. this is this is turn four, uh, where I'm going to uh, I'm going to win the game. Um, right, let's have a look. What have we got here? So she's learned some stuff. What have you learned? Uh, poor on the downforce. Okay on the handling. Good on the speed balance. Well, that's not telling me anything flipping useful, is it? Uh, right, we're going to have to go with more downforce. Let's, uh, let's look at 16. Oh, I don't know, 16.5 maybe. That's that's quite an aggressive change, but that's not going to move it into awesome, is it? I think we'll go a little bit further. 26.9 and 16.9. Again, I mentioned this uh, previously, uh, that, uh, that if I had any sense at all, given that we race this track twice a season... If I made a note of the most effective settings uh, from one race, I could uh, I could use them in a supplemental one. And uh, uh, despite having tipped myself off uh, to this extent, uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't bothered going back and looking at the last race to see what happened. Uh, right, we'll we'll give it a bit more understeer here, and uh, and then uh, I don't know. What do you want? You want top speed or you want acceleration? We'll we'll leave it as is. And see what we get from that. But again, we're going to go with uh, with mediums as the uh, the tyre choice of choice. Uh, uh, I don't know, but uh, well, we'll just have to see how we how we get on. Um, anyway, Silvera's going back out. Uh, Hazel's still uh, still out there and running. Uh, how are we getting on? Well, he looks a little bit more pacey now, but actually, I've, I've not got him on that aggressive strategy. Now, if I bring him in at the end of this lap, he'll have time enough to go out for one more session. Um, and with a bit of luck, uh, he, will, he will then have a setting that he, that he likes, a setup that he likes. But to be honest, even in the uh, races uh, where my drivers have been absolutely deliriously happy uh, with, their, uh, with their car setup, we have still uh, driven like an absolute dog over the course of the race. So, uh, so what my drivers think of the car is uh, it's, it's, it's almost irrelevant, to be honest. Um, but uh, 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 there it is. So Hazel should be on his way in now. Uh, Vanessa's out on her out lap. Uh, hopefully, uh, getting good stuff out of those tyres. Uh, that would uh, that would be most most beneficial. So Hazel's back in once again, and uh, and we're going we're going to see what we can uh, see what we can accomplish. Right, downforce is excellent, handling is great, uh, and the speed balance is okay. Well, that's that's a good place to be. Right now, previously the speed balance was great, and it was more acceleration oriented. Well, who'd have thunk it? I think we leave the handling where it is. I think we leave the downforce where it is, and I think we increase the uh, increase the nods towards acceleration, which to me feels wrong. I, I think we're gonna we're gonna lose out significantly uh, on the straights. But if that's what he wants, that's what he's gonna get. Uh, let's get him out there. Let's see if we can get a time recorded. Uh, see what he's capable of. 
Uh, let's bring Sildera back in. Now she's happier with her uh, she's happier with her aerodynamic setup here, um, but, but I'm hoping she's proper happy because one of these drivers uh, needs to come up with a uh, needs needs to come up with a another, up with a total winner. And, uh, and frankly, at the moment, it doesn't look like anything. So Silvera's coming back in, uh, a little tweak to the car, and uh, and she'll be back out again. But she won't get to record another full lap. So that uh, that uh, whatever time it was uh, that uh, that she set that that's put her at third fastest is going to be the one that stands. Uh, I mean, we've been we've been all over the shop with tyres. Uh, downforce excellent, handling great, speed balance great. Oh well, now then, that's more like it. So a little more understeer, and uh, and things get exciting. I don't want to give too much understeer, just that much, that much extra understeer, and uh, and she should be properly pleased to be alive. So, uh, so let's uh, let's get back out on the track. There's there's no need to uh, to do anything more exciting than that. Uh, and uh, you know, let's we'll see where we get on. Meanwhile, Mr. Hazel is going to be coming around for his flyer now. And the rain has started again. Oh well, this is this is exciting. Uh, Actually, given that he's not flying, like, let's uh, let's turn to absolutely, yeah, absolutely mash it. Uh, whatever I did to the speed balance, it's working. Uh, is the uh, is the initial feedback we've got there? Uh, I should hope so. Now everybody else is out on wet tyres. I, I would say that was premature, if you ask me. Now he's going to get he's going to get a full lap done. Uh, and given that the fastest lap was set on a pair of inters. Uh, this could see Hazel get the fastest practice time if he hadn't just gone as wide as, it, as it's possible to go uh, on that corner. Now, you could suggest that that was maybe due to the wetness of the track. I suggest it's down to the fact he can't flip in drive. Um, let's have a look. No. No, he's beaten by two drivers with intermediate tyres. Uh, and that's, that's why he is the, the rock star driver. Uh, of the team, uh, because it doesn't matter how aggressively you tell him to drive, what kind of car setup you give him, uh, he still completely fails to, to come up with the results. Right, I'm going to retrieve a, uh, a, a minor beverage at this point. Uh, while the practice session wraps up, I will be right back. Don't go changing. So it turns out if you tab out of the game for even three seconds, it pauses the game. Terrific. Uh, make sure you never miss any of the action. Uh, anyway, uh, a couple of, uh, of bold young individuals from the Twitch comments have seen their way clear to, uh, well, one of them has seen their way clear to help support the channel. Uh, Josh Rubino, thank you very much for your donation, uh, saying that he's a big fan of the Transport Fever series. Uh, so am I, to be honest. That's why I keep it up. And then Espen Rowe has uh, has offered a minor amount of uh, of loose pocket change there, in the hope uh, that it guarantees victory 
uh, for their driver in the upcoming race. Uh, if we look at the uh, the standings there, there's Hans Double Zero, see? Hans Double Zero, sixth fastest. Espen Roe, tenth fastest. Double Zero is, where are we? Roe, 143. Double Zero, 142. That's like, you know, that's, that's 0.8 of a second in it between these two drivers who are one and two in the uh, in the championship this season. Uh, we, ooh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, and it's been said that uh, that Hazel is still useless. Well, that's absolutely true. Uh, Bulldozer Power uh, season-ending swag for sale in the pits. Apparently, Silvera shirts uh, are in a bin next to the parking lot, according to Ninja Pumpkin. Um, well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll just have to see uh, whether Silvera can maintain her desirability for the team uh, following the race. So, meanwhile, over on the other social media channel um, that we uh, pay attention to, and Carolina Chavez is a fan. Who the hell is running Archer BMR anyways? Donkeys. Well, well, quite. That's that's what I always say. Uh, meanwhile, Jiro Kagawa, who likes uh, writing about the team on a regular basis, uh, does the track here in Black Sea suit the bulldozer power car or something? They're looking like they're going to get a good result this weekend. No, we're, we're looking like we chose different tyres to everybody else. Uh, XBC Sport and Luke Finley-Maxwell. The engineers must have been doing a, ju uh, a good job with Vanessa Silvera's setup. They were because they were showing some impressive pace out there. Again, it was the tyres. Everybody else was effectively running tractor tyres uh, to, to deal with the, the wetness of the track. Um, while, uh, while I was uh, very cynically not uh, using tractor tyres there. Uh, we were we were using different some kind of tyres, tyres that are more suited to motor racing. Uh, anyway, Henderson uh, has finished the uh, the uh, the practice session right at the top of the lead uh, with Hazel in second. Yeah, that's impressive. Given that Henderson was on intermediates, cry out loud. Uh, anyway, race day. The sun is out. Now, does this mean it's going to be a sunny old weekend? In which case, the time that we sunk in to those medium tyres may help us. They might not, but they might. Uh, the weather forecast is 7 degrees and sunny. That's quite cold. Uh, so that will mean that the tyres are chilly, right? Surely. Surely that's what it'll mean. Uh, Light-footed, super soft tyres wear more slowly. That, there, there are worse ideas there, you know. Or a 5% increase on mediums. Done. All right, we're gonna, what are we going to do? I, would, I, think, uh, I think the initial... Um, I think the initial, the initial strategy here is going to be to thrash it with Silvera. Silvera's got nothing to lose. Um, and therefore, we will... Uh, fast pit stops have a minus 15 mistake chance. I'm gonna, she's going to hit the pits on a more regular basis. Uh, yeah, there we go. This this could be pretty exciting uh, as, as Vanessa is going to go for the multi-stop strategy here. Uh, but if you look at the car setups, uh, Hazel, excellent, excellent, great, and Silvera, excellent, great, great. I don't, I don't think I could have done much better than that, really. Uh, they, they both look... Both are pretty, pretty solid. Uh, meanwhile, we will go with Ultra Aggression from, uh, from Hazel at the start and Ultra Aggression from Silvera. Now, yeah. car setup, no driver strategy, no knowledge, yes. What I need to do is, where's the, the, where's the fuel setup bit? I play this regularly enough. Surely I'd be able to remember how much fuel to stick in the beast. There we go, fuel options. This is Silvera. Right, 11 laps worth of fuel. Now, let's take that down to about six. What do you think, six? Five. What do you think, five? What's that in, in real money? That's uh, 0.175 seconds. So we're getting close to one second a lap, in theory. Um, five laps worth of fuel, hammer it. Uh, Silver Speed Bounce used to be excellent, says uh, Drago Ken uh, over there on YouTube. Uh, Hazel's tires, he's still on soft. Thank you, Skipper Chew. This is the kind of thing, uh, this, is, this is the point at which uh, I really do need to be reading all of the comments 
uh, because this is the point at which I usually make all of the mistakes. We don't, do we want to, what does continue do? Okay, continues fine. Right, you there, Hazel my lad. We're gonna have you on medium tires. All right, now I still want you to absolutely thrash it off the line, but we'll be easing you back quite quickly. Okay, just, just so as you're aware. Um, I, I, you know, this is a very hard track on tires. So going for fewer, fewer stops should mean fewer stops. I don't know, maybe. Do we go medium? I, I'm, I'm pondering. I'm pondering. Yes. I know. I'm got, we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. If, uh, if Hazel's getting no love out of medium tyres in this first session, uh, then we'll, we'll bring him in and, and switch him over onto something else. Uh, but medium, I, I think, is the way to go. Uh, right. Here we go. So, on the front row of the grid, it's Swans Plastic and Steve Mush. They're both on soft. Uh, Hazel and Chris Shaw on the second row. Hazel there, the only driver on medium so far. Followed by Sam Longo, Vanessa Silvera. Uh, then Megahertz. Seen Mendez also on mediums, as is Reverend Plastic, who is a good driver, apparently. Uh, then Hong Lao, uh, Maiko Kitasato, a trolley fodder on the sixth row. Uh, then Scott Price and P. Ruto, both also running mediums. Uh, Playmoto and Fenger Puppet. This is a good mix of strategy going on here. Uh, Sarah Thomas is currently fourth in the championships on in 17th next to Derek Henderson with Hans Double Zero, who is currently suffering from an injury as uh, Racer X140 uh, makes a very generous donation to the stream. Thank you very much uh, from across the pond. So, uh, well, it's, it's race time. Espen Rowe there out on the front of the grid. Hans Double Zero carrying an injury. Can he do enough to win the season? It all comes down to this. Anyway, there's a red lights. Come on, Hazel. Don't screw this up. We're away. Hazel, terrible start. Terrible start. Silvera bombs it past Hazel. Silvera absolutely wants it. Uh, Hazel, of course, is on uh, on slower tyres, but I'm not. I'm not accepting that as an excuse. Not for a second. Uh, right. He's not going to get any love out of this uh, this attack mode that he's on right now. Um, but he can afford to do so uh, for the moment. Uh, once the tyres start getting up to temperature a bit, we'll ease back. Meanwhile, Silvera, who we will be following momentarily, had better make the most of this light fuel load. Right, let's get you back onto high. And you can stay out on, uh, on aggression on those tyres a little while longer. Uh, meanwhile, Silvera is, is right up against the back of, uh, of Chris Shaw. Um, with Mush and Plastic both doing a decent job at staying out in front uh, as Mush sets the first time. Now, Steve Mush, historically, has been, well, that's a charitable way of saying it, terrible uh, on race day. But, uh, but at the moment, he's holding out in first. Now, this could be, I mean, as you'll notice, there's not a lot of spacing out going on right now. Uh, although one and two are pulling away from three and four, Hazel's still in the mix there as well. We're going to get him to ease back on his tyres, given the whole point of, uh, of Hazel's existence for this race is to stay out for as long as possible uh, and see if we can capitalise. Silvera's tyres are now starting to look a little bit uh, dicey, so we'll ease back there as well. Uh, she's only got two and a bit laps of fuel left. That's, that's going to be exciting. So she's coming in in two. Sarah Thomas has crashed. Uh, well, that's exciting. Um, you know, we don't get a crash in every race, but we certainly got one today. Uh, and that's, that's a good thing to do. And meanwhile, Hazel is attempting to overtake Sin Mendes. Uh, not really getting away with it as he drops back to sixth. But he is the insurance policy. Uh, we are sticking an awful lot of effort behind Silvera in the hope uh, that we can get uh, just, just a result here at the end of the season. We're going to go with two separate strategies to see what we can do. Uh, tires are actually a little low right now, so we can let's, uh, let's bung them up a little bit, given that she's coming in shortly. Now, as long as there, she has over one lap of fuel as we pass the pit entrance, she'll stay out. She is staying out one more lap. Uh, and so that I don't forget that I've done it, 
we will tell her to pit right now. We'll go back for the soft tyres and we'll keep her out for a second short sprint. Which is a really terrible idea. But we're going to do it anyway because competitive is what we want. Uh, that's the important bit. Is that is that wise, really? Yes, that's what we're going to do. Her, sub her suspension is already taking a bit of a beating there. Um... Yeah, I don't know, but uh, but hopefully, you know, it will it will hang in there till the end of the race. We're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to see. So between the the rear wing and the front wing and the suspension, they're all they're already down on on quality. Uh, uh, Mr. Rotson there is saying. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Otson uh, is suggesting. Don't forget fast pit. Thank you. Yep, totally fast pit. Uh, don't change her tyres, suggests Espen Roe. Let's have, a, let's have a look here. Well, to be fair, they do have half their life left in them. We can save a little bit more time. Stay on the current tyres. It's only three seconds, but it's three seconds nonetheless. Well, that's chancy. I like it. It's chancy. Let's do it. Uh, I'm all about this. This is this is exciting. It's a, it's uh, it's certainly giving me the thrill. Uh, of being alive, uh, as Silvera is now given her pit instructions. What's going? Who's this Joker in 18th? That's uh, that's Price. There has already been into the pits once. Evidently, there was some kind of a collision uh, going on there. Now trying to fight their way back up again. Uh, should be seeing a blue flag at uh, at every single corner on the track. Uh, so I, I can't say that bridge. Meanwhile, we're going to up the tempo on Vanessa's fuel. Uh, she should easily have enough to, to make it back to the pits. Now, as we look at tyre wear across the board here, uh, Mush and company are all down to 50% tyre wear. Uh, we'll ease off on our tyres, as they do have to do another session. Uh, here she goes, she's coming in. Uh, this, is, this is where Silvera's going to burn a bunch of places. Now, remember, she's got very low risk on the pit stop here. And... Didn't wreck it. Excellent. Uh, that makes a change. So, so is coming back out in 17th. Still on the lead lap, which is, well, I mean, that's, that's a point of consolation, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure about this tyre strategy where we're not, uh, where we're not going to, we're not going to change the tyres, but we've done it now, so, you know, there it is. Uh, we'll go neutral on the tyres to keep them in one piece for a bit. Uh, now, all being well, she should still be out on the track uh, when everybody else is coming in for their first pit stop. Um, and, and as a result, she will pick up a place or two, hopefully. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. If nothing else, this is certainly making for a bit of variety as Henderson now makes his second pit stop there. That's, that's insane. Uh, for those of you who are following the, uh, the Drivers' Championship, Espen Rowe currently in 7th and climbing, having just overtaken Hazel, uh, with Hans double zero in 10th, in 9th, in 8th. Oh, we better get up there, and because uh, Hazel's in that mix. Hazel was clearly causing the stack of cars there that has, that has made this piece of drama uh, able to uh, able to unfurl as he holds up P. Ruto. Um, as, as Hans Double Zero chases down Espen Roe. Uh, this, is, this is the kind of pay-per-view, uh, high-octane race entertainment, which really does make Bulldozer Power and the European Racing Championship the single, uh, the single most viewed something uh, in the history of motorsport. And, uh, and Silvera is now complaining about her tyres. Well, let's, let's conserve the tyres then. Because uh, this this was a bad idea. Should have changed the tyres. It was only three more seconds. She'd still be on the lead lap, but uh, now those tyres are uh, are starting to fall off the car. Um, but she is in 13th as everybody else comes into the pit, so she's making the place back up again. But she's only got eight seconds over Steve Mush. The question is, is that increasing? And it's not because she's losing out all the time. The gap is near constant as far as. Uh, Mendez extending his lead over over Silvera's position. So uh, Hazel, meanwhile, in sixth. The uh, the late pit strategy there showing some legs. 
and he's going to stay out for at least another two laps. Um, uh, Silvera, meanwhile, those tyres, they're falling off the car. Um, you know, it's it's basically a couple of rubber bands around a cotton whip, cotton spool at this point. Um, and, uh, and, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty catastrophic. Uh, meanwhile, Henderson is attempting to overtake Hazel. Uh, I don't mind that, given that Henderson is in 19th at the moment. Now, if Hazel can stay out for uh, for a little bit longer, uh, then uh, then there is... No, no, hold on. Let me scrub that. I was about to say we could possibly get away with just one pit stop, uh, but that ain't going to happen. Uh, not unless I ask him to push the car for a couple of laps. So yes, it's back markers there that are that are chasing down Hazel at the moment. Um, we're going to move over to Silvera, who for some reason is now in seventh. Um, that's odd. Uh, now everybody's pitting, and uh, and Silvera has moved back up to seventh place again. This is highly un un unexpected, to the extent that when Hazel goes in, if Silvera managed to stay out, uh, could be. Uh, could be on a real winner but those tires have had it they are absolutely done she has to come in uh, there's no choice in it um, absolutely has to come in uh, and then we might as well top the fuel back up again uh, I don't like it she's gonna lose all of that ground that she gained there which is a real shame uh, but yeah there goes the suspension look that's that's already looking dubious uh, medium tyres and a full tank. Oh, suggesting change of strategy. Change of strategy. I like it. Mid mid race change of strategy for Silvera. Uh, full tank of fuel. And then, you know, who knows what's going on at that point? People are pitting left, right, and centre. Uh, anything could be happening. She's got eight percent left on her tyres. Let's uh, oh, let's let's just absolutely rinse it as we, uh, as we finish the finish the. Meanwhile, young uh, young fellow me lad is also asking to come in. Well, we'll, we'll do that. And he's also it's saying that he'll be out of fuel by the time he makes it in. Maybe I just missed the button. Maybe I missed the timing by focusing on Silvera, which was a stupid thing to do, given that we don't like her. Um, uh, so, uh, Hazel, where are you? He's just gone past the pits. We're going to have to ease back. Ease back on the not the tyres. Tyres are fine. Do that on the tyres. Do that on the fuel. He may be on fumes by the time he makes it to the pit lane. And he's currently in third. This is, this is a bit of a shame. And had he come in just then, it would have been great. Uh, but it is only 19th place that's trying to overtake. Moto is two and a bit seconds back. And Moto's going to have to pit two. Uh, relatively quick. We've got half a lap of fuel left. I think we could possibly, we could possibly burn a little more than that. Let's do that. See, yeah, you let Moto catch right up. And Moto's going to be coming into the pits immediately behind us. Oh, this could be uh, phenomenally exciting. Uh, as Silvera's back out, giving it, giving it great guns on the uh, on the new tyres. In fact, we'll keep the tyre wear up high. I just have to keep an eye on the temperature. As Hazel pits from second. There's something you don't hear all the time. Did not hose the pit stop up. This is good news. Uh, as it comes out and comes back out in eighth. Eighth is a good race. Eighth is all right. Uh, now let's, uh, what are we talking here? Uh, we're talking uh, drive faster uh, for the moment. We want to get those tyres up to temperature as quickly as possible. And then we'll ease back up on them uh, afterwards. Right, tyres on Vanessa are starting to get warm. So we'll ease off on those a smidge. Uh, as she's in 15th now, following two pit stops. Um, so she's uh, she's basically on the car, same uh, car longevity setup that Hazel is now on, uh, but having had a second pit stop, uh, it's actually only passed her an extra 20 or so seconds. But, uh, uh, if the play moto just overtook Nicholas Hazel, who is who's under instructions to give the car everything it's got. That's play moto from Predator flipping racing team for the love of God uh, overtaking oh hold on Hazel's saying no I'm not having it that's it put him back where he belongs 
That's that's the stuff right there. Right, who's next? Hong Lao, who is a very promising young driver, who we tried to sign but was having none of it, um, is uh, is the next on our task list. I think we'll go for you know give the f give it some fuel. In there. Feel free to hard charge for a bit. We've got to make one more pit stop anyway. We might as well come in a little bit earlier than the pack. Uh, although, you know, that, that meant the last time you came in from second, which was quite exciting. Now, I actually can't fault Silvera for being down in 15th at the moment. That's purely down to that, that early aggression strategy not really paying off. Hazel's putting a few... He's putting a bit of a gap between him and Moto, but he's not closing the game around at all. Nor is he closing down the window. Uh, he's kind of seen him there. Hans double zero, uh, title, ship, uh, title championship followers. He's now in third, but that's going to roll in on fourth. That's drama, that is. Uh, Hong Lao has fallen to Nicholas Hazel. In your face, Hong Lao. And Hazel wants more. He's now uh, immediately behind Chris Shaw and then Steve Mush. No, Alan, I'd like to take him back. Hong Lao's done. It's not it's this flipping play moto again. Goodness me. And, and I know, mistakenly said play moto is the worst driver. I think Steve Mush is the worst driver. One of them is the worst driver. I can't remember which one it is. We possibly ought to read off in the fuel a little bit. Uh, I think that, you know, the, the action, the action is all, is all quite, uh, quite exciting. Uh, Moto's tyres uh, will burn out soon, says Ninja Pumpkin. Uh, absolutely right. Had not spotted that play moto is running soft tyres on this most brutal of tracks. Uh, but Moto has just overtaken Shaw as well. Clearly trying to uh, trying to make uh, trying to make hay out of uh, what profit they can from these tyres. Uh, you know, Silvera's tyres are actually starting to, to get a bit cheap. So uh, you know, we'll tell her to up the tempo a little bit. They both both my drivers have got six laps worth of fuel left at their current expenditure. Uh, although I have, uh, I have continually got the throttle down for Hazel. Uh, you know, we are using a little bit all out on the, the, the track uh, philosophy for this race. He's not closing anybody down though. Uh, although here he is again, closing in with Steve Mush. Well, I'm pretty certain he's the worst driver in the championship. Um, who's the driver? Are we going to get the details there? I don't know why we're following him. But uh, there he is. That's uh, Steve Mush. And, St and, and Mush actually, his tyres are absolutely hammered. As is Shaw's tyres, who is ahead of Mush. Both these drivers clearly came in quite early. As Hazel, he takes a good look there, but uh, his braking lets him down. Uh, a little bit more effort on the braking side from Hazel, and that could have been an exciting manoeuvre. It wasn't, though. So, uh, so this is something of a redundant comment as at the top of the table, at the, the, the top of the, the pack, Hans Double Zero had a go at Fender Puppet there and wasn't able to make it through. It is incredibly close at the front. I'm, I'm almost tempted to go and watch that race, uh, but we're not going to because who cares. Um, instead, we're going to stick with Bulldozer Power for they are the premium team in the whole of the European Racing Championship. And why would you go and watch anybody else when the premium team Bulldozer Power is available. Hashtag Bulldozer Power. Hashtag Believe. Hashtag Nicholas Hazel. Um, Hazel now closing in. I don't really, he's not so much closing in as he's, he's staring right at the back and he can't make his way through. Uh, we're going to, you know what? We're going to tell him to just hammer it. Get past that fall, will you? Go on. Put your foot down. Uh, eighth place. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a plastic there who's having car trouble. Oh, how my heart weeps. Uh, for a, a driver that is having car more trouble, and there goes, oh, that's ooh, that's that's him gone into the pits there. So Steve Mush there enters the pits as Hazel is overtaken by a car that has got technical difficulties. Uh, that shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody at all. Uh, he's got three laps, best part of worth of fuel left uh, in his tank. I'm going to try and keep him through the three there. The tyres will definitely hold up to it. Uh, just have to be careful. Uh, not to uh, not to be too overzealous uh, on the fuel. The tyres, however, are fine. It's still very moved up to seventh, thanks to our uh, eleventh. Beg your pardon. There's a whole bunch of people coming to the pits. Uh, she is 20 seconds behind Nicholas Hazel, but he's actually closing in now. Um, Hazel's worried about how much fuel he's got left. I'm keeping an eye on it. Don't worry. Whether I actually send you into the pits or not, that's an entirely different matter. 
but uh, I am aware of how much fuel you've got. And uh, we're very worried about that. Uh, in a minute. Uh, Hazel moves up to sixth as uh, whoever that was comes into the pits. Uh, Moto's in the pits, and Longo and Fodder are all in the pits. Finger Puppet out in first but needs to stop. Uh, Espen Rowe is in second but needs to stop, whereas Double Zero has already been in. Uh, a poor pit stop from uh, uh, Rowe will lead to absolute drama uh, where that's concerned. Right, here we go. We're coming back in with Nicholas Hazel. You all thought I was looking at other stuff and would forget. I did not forget, despite looking at other stuff. Uh, what have we got? Eight laps remaining after the pit stop. We'll take a full. We'll take a full tank so that we can go absolutely hammer down, should we choose to. Fifty-four percent on the rear spoiler. There is a bit of a worry, but I'm not that worried. We're going to go fast again. This is not the time to not be chancing it. Uh, meanwhile, one point seven laps of fuel left for Silvera. We're going to watch her uh, because Hazel's already under control. Now, if she can get round. Uh, with some fuel in reserve, we can bring her in a little later. So I'm going to ease off just a smidge there uh, as we turn up. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, we will turn to attack as soon as it gets back out. The Silvera is, is going to do another pit stop. Is going to do another, she's going to do another lap. She's not going to have a lot. Not, uh, she's not going to have a lot left uh, after this lap. Um, but in the meantime, this is, uh, this is what we're doing. Hazel exiting the pits in ninth, just about with Trolley Fodder and Kitasato, uh, both within, within arm's reach. Uh, do you use your arms in motor racing? Kind of hard to say, but I think you see where I'm going with that. Uh, there's Hazel. Hazel's absolutely hammering it. Um, Silvera is, uh, is separated with Steve Mush, who we know already is not a great driver. Uh, better tell her to come in. Hey, that would, that would be a sensible move, would it? Uh, what's the weather forecast? I haven't looked all race, so I might as well check it now. Weather forecast is fine. Uh, right. What are we going to do? How many laps have we got left? This, that would be... Oh, here we go. Eight laps remaining. 19 or 26. We know already that soft tyres will not last those eight laps. We will be better on mediums. That's my official position. Uh... Don't let them run out of fuel. I know. I've, I have let them. I don't, thank you, Soul Duckling over on YouTube has suggested that I shouldn't forget to push the button. And today, I have not forgotten to push the button. Uh, last stint needs to stay fully aggressive. Don't steer with your feet just yet. Hazel won't run out of fuel this time. Don't put any money on that. Uh, if there is a way to run out of fuel, I will find it. Again, rear wing there. Not looking perfect fast pit stop. Do not fluff the pit stop there, Silvera. But you can monster the rest of your fuel. And your tires. By what time you can on your way to the pits there. As we're going to come in with 0.1 of a lap of fuel. We've seen this move before and that was from the, the, the end race last season uh, where, uh, where it was Sergio Gomez who I'd forgotten to uh, Pedro Gomez. It was, it was nice, sir. Why am I going to sue you? I don't know. But there you go. Right, we're done with Silvera. She's back out, fully aggressive. Uh, meanwhile, on the subject of fully aggressive, is Hazel. And, uh, and he's currently chasing down Steve Mush. Um, this is actually looking like quite a promising bit of driving uh, from young Mr. Hazel. Although it has to be said, the, uh, the level of intrigue uh, placed upon the strategy in this race. Has, uh, has exceeded anything we've done so far. Come on, man, you're supposed to be good at overtaking. Get through that. Now you're being overtaken by trolley fodder. I mean, for, do you not want it? Is that your problem? I'm coming for you, fodder, he says. I don't believe you, says I. Uh, and, uh, and there we go, as, uh, as Nicholas Hazel there fails to live up to the prospects. It's, I mean, it's only mush for crying out loud. He's not even that good. And you can tell he's not that good because we've got Kitasato and Lau uh, are both piling up at the end of the queue here as Hazel loses another place due to his inability to break. Who is that? Uh, still Mush. It's still, somehow, Steve Mush is putting on a tour de force at how to create a traffic jam on a racing track. His car must be set up for some kind of wizardry-based uh, corner. 
because nobody can get past him at the corner. And there isn't enough room for, for top speed to really do the damage as Hazel is back into eighth again. Uh, and uh, come on, mate, come on, just will you please get it done? Hazel now up to sixth, thanks to a couple of drivers being in the pits. There's double zero in the pits. Espen Roe is on soft tyres in second place, is in first place. Espen Roe there may be, may be locked up the season. Uh, there's, only, there's only a few laps left to go. Uh, but, uh, right, your tyres are starting to get a bit cooked, actually. So let's ease off on those, shall we? Uh, we won't have to ease off for too long. Uh, because it's a nice cool day, so your tyres should cool down nicely, all being well. Uh, we've easily got the fuel to finish this race out, but uh, uh, the question is... Hold on, what's happened? Where's, where's the other drivers? That's... Uh, Fodder's now two seconds back. Hazel is uh, is looking, looking capable. And he's still on the tail of Steve Mush. Uh, well, one of the Canterbury tails there. Uh, he's on the tail of Steve Mush, and uh, but still unable to get past. And I don't know if this is down to confidence or it's, or it's down to his, his braking or, or, or what. Uh, as Mega Hertz, who is one of the better drivers in the series, uh, manages to push through, but Hazel loses out there, which puts him straight back into a fight with Trolley Fire. Uh, look, see, Mega Hertz there, demonstrating how you overtake Steve Mush. You basically just drive past him. Strategy. Uh, right, 20, lap 24 of 26. Uh, and Hazel's going to lose seven. Don't you. Do oh, what was that? Some kind of transcendental car uh, system there. Because he got blue flagged uh, and the game didn't really know how to handle that. And somehow Hazel has managed to come out in fifth. Um, I imagine there will be a steward's inquiry to figure out exactly what happened there. But the, uh, the spirit car. Uh, helped Hazel accomplish what he'd been unable to manage doing what he was doing on himself and uh, he got that overtaking move uh, which now puts him into fifth place although Chris Shaw is now meeting the home on, on, uh, on soft tyres so uh, uh, Shaw certainly has the option to uh, well the opportunity to get past here uh, tyre temperature is down a bit we'll, we'll go back onto attack I'm going to make Shaw work for it frankly his tyres can take a kick if he wants to get past Hazel. Uh, a fifth place finish would be remarkable. I don't think we're going to do it, but uh, but it would be the kind of stuff that would uh, that would certainly, almost almost certainly, almost certainly guarantee Mr Hazel a drive next season for us, whether his contract is up or not. To be fair, I should have checked on that before this race, but hey, it's too late for that now. We're in the race now. Uh, right, Silvera has let double zero pass there. Well, that's okay. He was he was ahead of you anyway, and let's face it, he is challenging for the uh, for the, the, the the season. So I'm I'm okay. Uh, meanwhile, <coughs> this is both of my drivers within the sponsorship objective. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that, as uh, as Hazel is uh, is now three quarters of the way around his penultimate lap. And he's got a, uh, a, well, he's got a two-second gap on Chris Shaw. Uh, Shaw not wanting to risk his tyres. In your face, Chris Shaw. As we ease back on the last lap, uh, and we ease back on the fuel as well. And that way we'll, we'll crank it up uh, if we need to. Uh, Silvera, however, we'll, we'll just we'll keep her cranked up at the same time. Why not? Everybody crank up. Uh, it's the, the end of race crank up here as Roe finishes in first place. And, uh, and that's, that's a season for you right there. Uh, Puppet in second, uh, Sean Mendes in third. Uh, Playmoto having a, having a belter to finish in fourth. Uh, equal, Steve Mush. Uh, you know, he's, he's been the, the, the butt of many jokes this season. Uh, but it looks like Mush is going to end in the top 13, which is quite a result for him. And for for Prince of Racing in the uh, Is that Swans Plastic or Reverend Plastic? No idea. But there we go. Hazel there confirmed fifth place finish. Fifth place. Fifth place finish. Hazel in fifth. Um, he's been he's been a cocky so and so. Uh, he's had the, the better car numerous times. So where he finishes in eleventh. Uh, now an eleventh place finish. I'd have been pretty pleased with. 
spots 5th and 11th. This is the sign of a team that is potentially going places. Uh, I tell you where we'll be going pretty quickly. We will be going uh, to the bar uh, for a drink. Um, now, as we look at the, uh, the strategy or lack thereof that was employed on this road. This doesn't look like right. That's, that's tyre history. Uh, I want, uh, give me, uh, I want, where's, show me the, that can't be right. Silvera didn't stay out for 10 laps on flipping soft tyres, nine laps on soft tyres. Didn't happen. She came in after like six. I call shenanigans. Uh, okay, that's, that's not the tyre strategy. I recall having taken, oh no, she did two stints on softs. So where's the pit? I oh, never mind. Anyway, I thought that was quite interesting, and but evidently the game feels otherwise. Uh, scrutineering underway as the uh, the GMA makes sure that uh, that nobody has, has broken any of the rules there, uh, and we look at the the final standings uh, with uh, a remarkable fifth place finish. Hold, just hold it there, will you? A remarkable fifth place finish uh, for Nicholas Hazel. Uh, ahead of uh, Trolley Fodder, Chris Shaw, uh, Maiko Kitasato, Hong Lao, Hans Double Zero, the Almighty Double Zero, and how the Almighty have become less mighty. Uh, she stayed on the same tyre for nine laps. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, and Vanessa Silvera in 11th, which is, you know, this is what we like to see. Um, and then... What does that do to the standings over? Oh, my goodness me. Hazel moves up to 14th overall. Uh, and Vanessa Silvera drops to 16th. Uh, well, that's, that's going to create quite the scandal uh, back at Bulldozer Power HQ. Uh, certainly, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of debate uh, going on there. But... Espen Rowe finishes out top, 191 points for the season, uh, 19 ahead of Hans Double Zero, uh, who could not get it done. Uh, at Fenger Puppet, the second Garuda Racing driver in third. Play Moto, who I'd been incorrectly suggesting was a terrible driver in fourth. Uh, I was thinking of Steve Mush, who uh, had a great race, actually, to finish ahead of Swans Plastic overall, despite the two of them really languishing at the bottom of the table for the entire season. So in terms of teams, uh, had we had a couple more races like that this season, we would not be looking at ninth place. We would be looking at a place better than ninth. Um, and uh, and um, we've already got the yells of uh, hashtag fire Vanessa uh, going on over there on Twitch. Um, and frankly, I would expect that hashtag to reverberate throughout the off season. Uh, so, uh, Carrie-Anne Kilgore has sent us a message saying, Bulldozer Paris PR just sent me a bag of goodies. Yay! D. Smiley face. Hashtag great stuff. Um, uh, Ray, oh, Rachel Noy. She hasn't talked to us in a while. Uh, has said the, uh, that uh, from, from Channel 6, obviously, that Rachel Noy. Uh, the Bulldozer Power will be pleased with a strong result. Uh, we are pleased, and it was a strong result. Uh, that much is absolutely certain. Uh, while Nicholas Hazel has taken to Twitter, uh, I don't want my drivers on Twitter. Oh, it's just a distraction. Uh, I bet. I bet in his description he also says all opinions stated are my own. I bet he has that. Uh, it's not true. Uh, they they, re they reflect on the team, and, and as such, it might it might get you might get you done. Uh, we've got uh, hashtag Fire Silver. Uh, Fire, Fire Silver and Fire Silvera coming from YouTube. Uh, William Flood and Goban jumping on that particular witch hunt. Uh, there's uh, Omer99 is, is going with Fire Hazel. Uh, then we've got Cash Kurt, Keep Vanessa. It's, uh, it's hashtag madness there for the fans of Bulldozer Power. They're, they're, all, they're all giving every opinion that they possibly have. Uh, and that's why that's why we have the best fans in the European Racing Championship, which is surely the championship that we're going to be in for the rest of our natural lives, uh, as uh, as there is no evidence that we can do any better than we have been historically. So, have we seen any progress from our drivers in this race? Uh, morale, well, everybody's morale's up a little bit. Well, good. I do love a happy driver. Um, 
But no, this is, it, it's taking such a painfully long time to get any actual training into these drivers. Uh, Kurt, however, is he's, he's absolutely delirious. He's beside himself, uh, and, uh, and quite rightly so, as, uh, as we wrap up. Uh, a, a disappointing season. Uh, let's let's make that absolutely clear. Terrible season, um, but uh, but frankly, you know, uh, we went out on a high point. Uh, although Silvera is apparently a, a higher rated driver. If this was football, I'd transfer her to you know Berry or you know someone like that, Scunthorpe. Um, but. Uh, but uh, no, I don't, don't appear to have the uh, don't appear to have that option. So from the race itself, we completed our sponsor objective. Uh, we it cost us five eight four. We had six eight six in the bank. We're going to have one hundred and two grand left on us uh, to go into the off season. Uh, as the World Motorsport Championship also wraps up uh, with the final round in Dubai, uh, Raid on there coming good. Uh, taking the the win with Carl Johnson in second, and we know that he was hoping to lock that down uh, with James Fishburne in third. Avalos having already wrapped it up, basically cruised uh, into uh, into the finish line, uh, having already wrapped up the season in fourth place with Reaper eight six in fifth. From the Asia Pacific Super Cup, they too finish off their season coming out of Munich uh, with Frieda Fischer. Uh, a late charge to put her up to second place overall, gaining 22 points in this race, uh, really puts Fisher on the map for next season. But Curious could not be caught. Uh, and, and obviously, Curious could not be bothered racing either, having finished in 10th in this one. Uh, as Craig Smith finishes in second uh, to put, take him to sixth overall in the season and picks Elater uh, there, uh, who uh, who finished ninth overall, but managed to get uh, third place podium finish in this race. Telling you what you already know, uh, Espen Roe there with forty points uh, takes it uh, takes the takes the championship up from one fifty one to one ninety one because I can't remember who was ahead before that. Hans double zero gets twenty two, uh, finishes up uh, what's that nineteen behind uh, twenty two off for eighteen. So, uh, so Hans double zero would have needed the win there anyway, but uh, but Espen uh, at the end of the season there showing very clearly, very clearly uh, to uh, to how to get it done, absolutely how to get it done. Um, right, so uh, that will that will just about wrap it up for this season as the uh, as the world champion Espen Roe. Although how you can be the world champion in a European racing series. Um, uh, you know that's uh, that, that's difficult to say. As uh, as we receive a donation over there on on the Twitch from uh, Hayes, who has suggested hashtag higher stegs. That's the last thing we want to do. Uh, to be honest, the Hazel is enough like stegs uh, enough. Uh, already so there we go that will wrap up this season of uh, mode sport manager we'll be back with another season at some point in the future uh, meanwhile uh, if you have not done so already please do subscribe to the channel over there on youtube uh, as that is where the action happens and there will be more madness of a, of a similar variety coming in the very near future i want to thank you all for tuning in today for this uh, sunday night racing stream uh, Espen wants to be changed to be Norwegian. Uh, if, if I can find that button, I'll, I'll make it happen. Uh, but thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, I'll be back very soon uh, with something similar uh, over there on YouTube. In fact, it's Transport Fever tomorrow, for those of you who, who like such things. Uh, and then there's something new on Tuesday. I've got these queued up already. It's, it's a work of art. Uh, what do I do now? Cheerio!